The Pentagon is going on the offensive and defensive in cyberspace. The U.S. federal government's main defense headquarters is expanding its cybersecurity force to combat foreign threats to the nation's computer networks. The Pentagon, um, DHS, the National Security Agency all have published reports saying that they expect um, cyber attacks to start coming even more rapidly into the United States. U.S. officials say the increase in personnel and computer hardware would increase the Defense Department's Cyber Command in upcoming years to more than 4,000 people from the current 900. According to a report first published by the Washington Post, part of the expansion would protect computer systems that support the nation's power grid and critical infrastructure. The thing that we really have to know, and I think we always have to keep in mind, is the government is keeping a lot of the risk information secret. The Pentagon also plans to be on the offensive planning and executing attacks on adversaries to create a greater barrier in securing the Pentagon's computer systems. The U.S. cyber network is a vast frontier for mass data information sharing, and U.S. officials say it's under constant attack from foreign and domestic threats. The Pentagon is working with U.S. Cyber Command and various military commands to assess how best to counter those threats. The expansion of Cyber Command is happening as the Pentagon scales down in other departments, including the size of its conventional armed forces. U.S. officials say that an attack on cyber systems could disrupt the nation's power grid, transportation systems, financial networks, and government. If you can just, um, through incentives and you know, uh, laws and punishments, force companies to make software that's more secure, that'll protect everybody. But legislation enforcing cyber protection is behind the curve. Officials say that they're particularly wary of attacks from adversarial countries and extremist groups looking to gain advantage over the U.S. It's expected that the Pentagon expansion will cost millions of dollars, but defense officials say the details are still being worked out to address an ever-changing threat. Colin Campbell, Press TV, Washington.